Two women ages 19 and 22 have been arrested and charged with murder after killing a 53-year-old man who is being labeled by the media as a sugar daddy. See, understanding that words have power, I'm not going to call him a sugar daddy. Instead, I'm going to call him a victim. And I also believe that if this victim was any other color, the mainstream media would also refer to them as a victim. Understand that using certain words can take the seriousness out of a situation. And what happened to this man was very serious. Police said when they found him in his bedroom, he had several cuts to his legs and he had a cut on his right hand and his thumb had been removed and he had been stabbed through the heart and his skull was fractured. A witness to the crime said they cut his thumb off so they could make purchases with his cell phone. They paid for an Uber. They bought weed. They bought alcohol. They even had two dudes come in the apartment with masks on and take some of his stuff. This ain't about no sugar daddy. This is about inviting people over who you don't know. The exact same thing that happened to this man is also happening to people looking for love online. When it's time to meet up, instead of y'all going to a neutral place, you have them come pick you up from your apartment. And they ask you, can they come inside to use the bathroom? And after you say yes, nobody hear from you again. So let's not push the narrative that the only way something like this could happen to you is if you out there in the streets trying to pay for a good time and a little happy ending. This man didn't have his thumb cut off because he was a sugar daddy. He didn't get stabbed through the heart and have his skull bashed in because he was a sugar daddy. These two women wanted his money and once they got it, they then wanted his life. 